The boys are wine tour ready. Wine tour ready. Baby. All white. All white. This is y'all know how this is gonna end. I'm letting y'all see what we look like beforehand, so y'all know how bad we're about to look after this thing. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that it's gonna get pretty out of pocket. I don't know for sure how much wine we're gonna get because it says it's kind of like you know a formal type deal, but I am not a formal type guy, so let's get kicked out, baby. We are on the bus. T minus one hour till we get out of pocket. Out of pocket. Let's get out of pocket. Let's get out of pocket. Let's get out of pocket. Dude, Todd, that's the wine tour guy. Todd's kind of like so far what we can judge. Todd's like a male care. He's about to get. He's probably in for a surprise. I don't think he's used to dealing with people like us on wine tours. So. It's now lunchtime. We are still fully clean somehow. No wine on us yet, but we haven't drank any wine yet, so that makes sense. It's actually hilarious. Yeah, he knows it. Basically, he puts this on the market here at the winery today. This is the 2021. And um, he knows it's a little bit done. Generally, by the end of summer, by the Because we will take you to the winery and put time in the bottle. Many kids. All right, homeboy's hooking us up with the heavy pours right here. Right, we got some wine. We're unhappy. Ooh, I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. Wow. I need to find out if we got free refills before I start guzzling these things. This is homeboy right here hooking us up. Todd's telling him the pour us last. I guarantee you Todd's telling him the pour us last. I can see it. In front of you, down, 45 degrees, down, in front of you, down, in front of you, in front of you, down. Like that. Um, so glad you're looking here. You see how this one's purple and this one's kind of brownish, orangish? That's oxidation. The flavors will change dramatically when that happens. This is like a ruby. Just prepare it next year, you'll see right away. I'm not a very big fan of this. Everywhere I go, I see his face. <laughs> this dude. This dude talk. Talk. He's gonna make me drink. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was free refills. No. On a good year, I take all my fruit and I make it and I have some beer. I'm going to get a little bit heavier of a pour. I have a wine tasting channel, so it gives me more time to put out people. So the next glass we have is a Chianti Lucas, Rufino. Lucas, you gonna more of this? Sorry, but, yeah. I personally like the first one more, which was a Chianti Classico. This is a 2014 right here. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, that's good. What? It's a big sip. It's a big sip. It's a tasty. You're supposed to taste it. That's yeah. So this is the first wine we just drank. A 2020 Shanti Rufina. That was the second wine we had. This is a reserve. This is a 2014. It's got the broader shoulders and deeper plant because it has more sediment. And then the one that I'm trying right next is the Villa Portegano. This one, I have not tried to sip yet, so see how it tastes. This one does have a lot of sediment. It's a good wine. I still think my favorite wine was the first one. I'm going to get a couple bottles of that one. The best way to get all the flavor is to chug because you get the full immersion, mouth to gums, all the way through. So 
We are headed to the second vineyard now. First one was really good, food was really good. We tried three different wines. I got a couple shipped back to the States. Next place, we'll get to try a couple white wines, so we'll see how those taste. This boy too dang big to be in here. Um, squeeze, you guys. Come on. First white wine of the day. Delicious. Um, <laughs> Smelt a little stinky. Doesn't taste very stinky though, thankfully. My favorite wine by far. Smells amazing. Tastes amazing. But the best way to savor the taste is to drink it all in one sip. <laughs> bon appetit. Right, guys, this one, I haven't really been a huge fan of yet. It's got some weird twang to it I don't really like, so same as a good wine. Best thing to do with a bad wine is get rid of it in one sip. Six bottles back to the States of the last winery of wines I've really enjoyed, but this has been the only wine, red wine I've truly enjoyed over here. I'm just going to get two that I can bring back to Florence with me and enjoy at the hotel. Because, you know, I'm not going to ship six of these back to the States. So we're going to get a little unnecessary over here, you know. i got to save some money at some point. All right, guys. That is a wrap on the wine tour. Went ahead, got eight bottles. Shipped six. Well, I got nine bottles. I shipped six back. Bought three. Had an absolute blast. If you ever come to Europe or Italy or somewhere, Please, please do a wine tour. I just had the best wine in my entire life and it's only $12 a bottle. It doesn't get much better than this, so. Hope you all had a great day. Next up, I'll be in Almafi Coast this weekend, baby. Party boat, nightclub, and y'all gonna enjoy the video. I can't wait.